Hey, what's going on YouTube? Kurosama here. Now today I finally have him, my beautiful demon. I'm so happy. Now after two weeks of uh, basically getting spoiled because everyone else in the world decided to get him, I finally have him. But to be fair, I, I mean Japan usually gets these model kits like way before everyone else except for China and Korea. So yeah, I, I had to suck it up. Uh, but also the G40 is like sold out almost everywhere I've, I've looked. I looked everywhere so far and yeah. I found it online though so I do have it on the way hopefully next week if possible. Uh, but either way it's going to be built and reviewed after this baby. So uh, talking about this is just getting me moist. Uh, but first, I would like to thank NewTypeHQ.com for sponsoring this video and just allowing me to provide such content for you guys. So if you do you know, enjoy this content, please go check out their website, use that promo code CROSAMA and get that 10% off any of your purchases. But other than that, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. So honestly, the front box is just orgasmic. I love this box. It is just so beautiful. It is everything. It is. It is everything I wanted this kit to be, plus more. So, um, yeah, I'm probably going to frame this. This this needs to be framed on my wall. It is just, it's perfection. This is probably my favorite Master Grade box. Probably my favorite box art to date. Um, it's just, it's amazing. Now, I did pay 4,500 yen over at Yamada Ninki. Um, so, you can roughly get it between like $45 and uh, $50. I think right now, NewTypeHQ.com is selling it for about $45. Um, and I think the original price is roughly like $48. So, they, they, I think they're having like a little discount. So, if it is still up, I know it was sold out recently, but if they do get a new stock in, make sure to snag it up as quickly as you can. Now, with looking on the side of the box, you are going to get a front and rear shot with all the weapons equipped onto the backpack and then him just holding the mace. That mace is going to be my permanent weapon. I need to have that mace deployed. And I'm not even lying right now. I might even buy another one just to have it with the uh, smoothbore weapon because I love it with that weapon. It, it's just, it's so amazing. It's fantastic. Um, you got a nice little pose right here with some stands that uh, are not included to my knowledge. And you're going to get a really nice shot of the inner frame. So that inner frame is just looking splendid. Oh my god, everything about this is looking amazing. Just the joints, everything, the chrome that's going to be on it. Man, that inner frame is looking baller. Uh, and, and just to note, I mean, the, the inner frame for the Gundams are universal. So, I mean, obviously there's some slight changes maybe to the feet and stuff, but... For the most part, all the Gundams in this universe share the same frame. So we could be seeing a lot new, a lot more of mobile suits in general coming through either P Bandai or regular release. So I am just stoked, especially for a um, you know a rebake full city. Now over here we are going to have Mika. We're going to have a couple of figures. So I'm actually going to paint that. I'm going to do my best to uh, to make that justice. And then down here you just get markings, but I'm probably not going to use those. And you get information about the Barbados. And on this side, it's just kind of showing you the posability for the arms, which looks great. It's going to have the mace, which is a fantastic weapon. And then right there, you're going to have just more outlined information about the weapons. You got parts for the knees. It's going to be sliding down. I mean, this thing is just, it's perfection. The backpack, you're going to have that to come out. So that way you can rotate the smooth bore right underneath the arm. That's the pose. Well, not that exact pose, but that's similar to the pose I want for uh, for mine. So I'm telling you, I'm probably going to get two Barbados. I'm going to paint this one. Um, but yeah, this thing is just looking great. All right, so let's go ahead and crack this open. Now starting runner A1, this is going to be different than runner A2 that's going to come up. Uh, but yeah, it's just going to be more of a... It's like a gray brownish color. Like it's not as brown as you, you know, originally thought when we saw, you know, started seeing a lot of the colored um, promotional pictures. But it's still nice. I mean, honestly, guys, I'm gonna paint mine. So I probably painted a little bit of a brighter brown. Um, I mean, you can you can see it. You can see the brown. It, it, but it's, it's not as vibrant as a uh, I was thinking it was gonna be. But regardless, I'm still gonna paint mine. Uh, probably just gonna go that brown route. Just I think it looks really good with that white. Um, but regardless, it, it's gonna have a lot of detail. I mean, there's a lot of things you can paint on this, and that's what I'm looking forward to is kind of just seeing how much color separation I could really put into this kit. 
And we're on A2 is going to house the hands. So it's going to have like these open hands, it's going to have the holding hands for accessories and closed fists, which looks really good. Um, honestly, not as many hands as I thought it was going to have, but hey, I'm actually pretty happy about these because they look very pointy and you could probably make some really dynamic, po dynamic poses with them. But regardless, uh, basically just more inner frame all right here. And next you will have two of these runner B's. Now this is just going to have a lot more of the inner frames, going to have all the, looks like all legs going to be right here. Uh, this might be parts for the legs as well. Um, this could be parts for the legs. Yeah, so it looks like it's a majority of uh, leg parts. This should be arms right up here. Yeah, it looks like a lot of arm stuff is going on up here in this corner. But regardless, this is going to be a lot of the inner frame for uh, this mobile suit. And moving on to runner C1 and C2. Uh, so this is going to be a lot more of the inner frame. Um, seeing a lot more detail when it comes to these feet. But not really seeing much else. I mean, you're still going to have a lot of like uh, little pipes and hydraulics and all that. Tubes. So all that's going to be painted. Now this is a polystyrene plastic. So this is going to be a little bit more soft. In which that's actually what I like. I like the soft plastic. I don't know how it holds up over time, um, but I mean, looking at a lot of kits that it does have uh, the same material, they are perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, I'm not a guru when it comes to different plastic usage, so I don't know if this, um, you know, this plastic in particular is negative in some kind of way. But for the most part, I've I've had a great time um, cutting these out, you know, trimming them down, painting them. Never really had any issues. And next we have is runner D1, which is going to be this nice silver coated runner. Looks really good. And next is going to be runner D2. This is unfortunately not, to me, it's not a great looking gold. Um, you know, I wish they would have utilized a better gold, especially if you're going to have that nice bright silver, have the nice bright gold. Um, but anyway, it's going to get painted, so not really too concerned. And next we're going to have is runner E. So you got these yellow parts, which are looking pretty good, all for the vents and such. Uh, now you are going to have the controversial, uh, and next we're going to have is runner E. So runner E is going to have a lot of these white parts. It's actually pretty much the first runner with the, the white parts that we're going to take a look at. Uh, you got the Mikazuki figure right there. And just, I mean, overall, nice parts, a lot of great detail. You're going to have some red right up here. And if you come up to the other side, which you kind of already saw, you're going to have a lot of yellow for the vents. And the one thing that people are complaining about is going to be the V-Fin, how it's too long. Honestly, I'll see how it looks. If it is too long, then I'll trim it down. But otherwise, I don't think it looks that bad. And as you're going to have is runner F1 and F2, so I'm going to take away the shorter runner. Now, you are going to have a lot of indentions as well as just like little panels and such. All this, I'm going to like paint gray just to kind of break up the white. It's going to look good. I mean, this lake, oh, it looks so good. Everything about this, I'm like, man, like, what color should I paint it? Should I paint it, like, some gray, some black? Because um, I just don't want it to be, like, all completely white. But this is looking so good. I'm going to have, I think I have to paint those toes black, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I had to double check my artwork. But, yeah, I mean, regardless of whatever I got to paint, man, this thing is going to look beautiful. I'm, I'm going to dirty it up a little bit. I'm not going to go overboard like I did with the Sinanju Stein. Um, I'm going to do uh, pretty much the sponge technique once again, uh, but I'm going to go a little bit lighter when it comes to that chipping. And next we got is two runner G's, so this is just going to be some black parts. Um, this is going to be for the legs and just a thruster for the back. And next is going to be runner H, so there's going to be some clear parts. It's going to be for like the shoulders as well as the legs. And runner I1, which is going to be your small portion of blue parts. And runner I2, this is going to be for the smoothbore weapon. Looking so damn good. Man, that looks just beautiful. I just, I don't know, man. I, I'm I'm just fanboying over here. I uh, really love the Barbados. Uh, I mean, I don't know what else to say. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful mobile suit. So, I'm getting excited. Now, you are going to have runner J2 and J1, which J2 uh, is just going to be a small portion of the um, mace right over here with the extra little, like, dagger. To be honest, I'm not a fan of this dagger. I don't really understand why they include it. Like, cool, options are fine. But this was just, to me, completely unnecessary. Like, the Barbados does not look good with uh, maces. People are probably going to disagree, but that's just how I feel. Um, regardless, though, this is looking good. Everything about the mace uh, looks really fine. I don't really have too many issues with it, but I really want to build it before I just start saying exactly how I feel. And then the blade is going to look super fine. God, I love this blade. So I'm probably going to break the colors up on this. Uh, I don't really know where I'm going to do that, though. 
a small foil sticker sheet and here's going to be your sticker marking so not really anything crazy i mean it's just a lot of different warnings you do get the um Tekaden symbols right here and there but other than that that's uh that's pretty much all you're really gonna get. You're not, I don't think you're really getting much of uh, anything of importance. So a lot of this I can actually use the water slides I already have, but to take it in, I'm gonna have to uh, find some water slides for that. And for the manuals, looking, you know, pretty much the same thing as the box art, uh, but there's nothing like too spectacular. I mean, this is just going to be your basic manual. Um, I usually have like the color guide up inside here. And, not the color guide, but the uh, colored pictures. And here's just going into detail about the inner frame. I mean, this is like the focal point of Iron Blood Orphans is this inner frame. I mean, it was so important that they made like the high grades have a fully developed inner frame, which was just amazing. It was it was beyond my expectations. Uh, but yeah, just some more poses that we've seen already. Oh, your color guide is going to be inside this part. Um, t talking to you about the one touch method of like panel lining and such, painting, and you're just getting some information on the Barbados. But guys, other than that, this thing is just screaming for me to build it. So unfortunately, I can't build it now. Um, I'm actually really tired. It's a Friday night. Uh, I'm watching a little bit of Build Divers Re-Rise, just so I, that way I can have a little bit of source material for the Celt Sam review. Otherwise, this is going to be sitting right here on my desk waiting to get built for tomorrow's live stream. The charity stream is going to be tomorrow, Saturday, 9 p.m. Tokyo time. So mark that down, whatever you're you know time zone is and equivalent to the Tokyo time but 9 p.m. Tokyo whatever that is equivalent to you so be there and we can definitely build this together and have a great time have some people come on talk we'll have some music playing it's going to be a festive so can't wait to see y'all and thank you new type once again I'll be seeing you guys later bye bye